Today, we will look into how we can create gameplay tags in C++ and use them across our entire Unreal Engine project. The first thing you have to do to use gameplay tags in C++ is that you should add the gameplay tags module to your project dependencies. With that done, you can create new gameplay tags in C++ doing the following. In a header file, you can use the UE declare gameplay tag extern macro. As the name suggests, this allows you to declare a gameplay tag that can be used in code. The only thing you have to provide here is a name for how you want to address the tag inside the code. So, for example, tag underscore attribute wind. However, if you try to add the tag to a gameplay tag container and try to compile it, you will see that you will get an error. To fix this, you have to use the UE define gameplay tag comment macro in a CPP file. Here, you have to provide three values. First, the tag name that you decided to use in C++. So, in our case, tag underscore attribute wind. Next, you have to provide the hierarchy for the tag itself. So basically how you would define it within the editor and separating each category with a dot. So in our case, it would be attribute.wind, which would create a subtag wind in the attribute category. And lastly, you have to provide a comment for the tag. So a brief description of what the tag represents. Now, if you try again to compile, you will see that the error is gone and that you also can find your tag inside the editor. So that you can easily use it inside other blueprints. But now you might also encounter the case that you want to use a gameplay tag in C++ that you have previously defined from within the editor. And rest assured, this is also possible. First, you have to get hold of a reference to the gameplay tags manager. You can do it like this, and then use the function request gameplay tag. Here, you have to provide the hierarchy for the tag you want to access. So, for example, attribute.fire. Per default, if the tag doesn't exist, the function will throw an error. Otherwise, it will return the tag as a F gameplay tag value to use in C. There are also more things you can do with the gameplay tags manager. For example, the get number of tag nodes function. Here you can provide a gameplay tag and it will return you the number of sub tags a gameplay tag has. So in the case of attribute.fire, it would be two. And because it consists of the tags attribute and fire. Using this function can be helpful to determine which tag is more specific, so has a higher depth when you compare tags to each other. Or you can also use extract parent tags by providing a gameplay tag and an array that stores gameplay tags. With that, you can get the individual parent tags of a gameplay tag. So in the case of character.enemy.minion, it would add the tags character and character.enemy to the array. But with all of this, you should be ready to utilize gameplay tags in C++ for your next project. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips and tricks and see you next time.